Hello! We have another Universal Yums box. I am very excited about this one when I pulled it out of the mailbox and saw that we are going to France. Yay! Now if there are not croissants and cheese and wine in here, then I'm going to be very disappointed. I have a feeling that that is not going to be in this box, but I'm very excited to see what is in the box because I haven't even looked yet. Usually I take a quick peek and I have not this time. So we are all finding out together. So let's open this up and take out all the stuffings and take a look and see what is all in here. Okay, so we have our obligatory bag of potato chips. And it looks like they are truffle flavored, um, like truffle the mushroom, not the chocolate, which, I mean, either one sounds great to me. Um, yeah, so these look good. They have some French on them, and let's try them. Let's open it up. Ooh, they have a few different flavors with this brand. And the ingredients are surprisingly short. It's just potatoes, sunflower oil, truffle seasoning, flavoring, smoke flavoring, maltodextrin, and salt. Um, so that's cool. I like short ingredient snacks. Oh, that smells strong. I don't know what that, I mean, presumably it smells like truffle, but I guess I've never stuck my nose in a truffle, so I don't really know, but I don't know. I I don't really like the smell of it, so we'll see, we'll see. Whoa. This is flavorful. Like, punches you in the face with flavor. And I'm assuming that that is uh, truffle flavor, but I don't really know because I don't eat a lot of truffles. They're expensive and I don't love mushrooms. So there you go The next thing ooh, crepes filled with basil pesto Really France we're gonna fill crepes with basil and pesto for our you know snacks Okay Watch, I'm gonna love this snack and then I'll feel really stupid for making fun of it. Try and get into this box. Why do they make it like a prison? Okay, so a box and then a bag in the box. That's fine. They do what we do, which is over package. Oh my gosh, they're so little. They're so cute and little. I thought it was gonna be like, bigger. So they're these cute little crispy things and they are super basil smelling. So I think this is going to be basil-y. These are like French combos. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. I mean, whoa. It's good if you like basil, because it is very strong basil flavor. Like, like spoonful of pesto, basil pesto, and a little bit of a crunchy thing going on. That is intense. Let's go a little sweet, shall we? I think sweet, we'll see. This looks like a little loaf of cornbread, but it doesn't have any, you know, Label, so I have no idea. I guess we could look in the book, but that's going to take some time. Sorry. I'm trying to keep these videos shorter because I feel like people don't want to watch them because they're too freaking long. Uh, pure gold is the description of it. It's dough. It's cake for wealthy people. Okay, let's try it. Maybe it's like the French version of a Twinkie without the cream, so not Twinkie. Oh, 
This smells really good. This smells like a pound cake or something. Hmm. Yeah. This is so good. It has a little bit of a citrus, like lemony flavor to it. It's got kind of a sugary outside, so it's a little bit crispier. Not like crispy. I don't know how to describe it. The outside has some texture. The inside is really, uh, it's a denser cake, so it's not fluffy, but it's... It's really good. Mm. Yeah. Get yourself some of that. That is real good. Okay. Next thing. Another like cakey thing. This has that pattern. I forgot what those cookies are called, but they've got that like shell pattern on them. Um, and this one is pink. So I'm thinking it's a berry flavored something like strawberry or some type of berry flavor. Ooh, it smells really nice. Maybe cherry. It's got little flecks in there. I, I don't know if you can see those. Um, mm. That's really good too. That's similar like texture to that other cake but it is definitely berry flavored and um it might be cherry i don't know i don't know i don't know but um it's, it's good i would definitely recommend okay so we have our little bag of goodies i'm saving the thing that i that looks the best to me for last so we're going to open up the little baggie and they always make this so hard to get into. Ooh, I feel like a raptor. Okay, so we've got like these little caramels that look like nougaty things. Um, like something's in the middle of them. So can't find out how to open them. Okay, be smarter than the wrapper, Christine. Okay, so <clears throat> yes. So there's something in there and it looks like caramel on the outside. Ooh, it's a little harder than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more like gooey. It's not gooey. Um, yeah, it's like caramel surrounding nougat. Not bad, but not like out of this world. Terrific. Not like those freaking cakes. Those are really good. Then I've got these candies. Those like maybe they're hard candies. One is pink and one is white. Um, let's try the white one because why not? I don't know. Let's try it. Try it and find out. I always make crazy faces and I always have a really weird, like, picture on the front. I figured out you can change it, but they only give you, like, three options, so. Ooh, that's good. What flavor is that? I wasn't expecting this flavor out of a white one, because in the United States, if, if a candy is white, it's usually mint or it's some type of like white fruit that's not actually white. So pineapple, I guess coconut is white. Uh, so coconut, pineapple, um, lemon sometimes can be white. I wasn't expecting this flavor. I don't know what it is. Maybe it is lemon, it's lemon. <laughs> which I just said. But anyway, it's good. So that's what matters. It's not like one of those sour lemon flavors. It's like a lemon meringue pie flavor. It's real good. I'm not going to try the pink one because we've already established that it's good and I don't want to open another candy and make it sticky because I want to eat it. 
And then, so you get two of those caramel caramels. So I'm not gonna eat that. Uh, so best for last, giant chocolate bar. Check that out. Universal Yums hooked us up with a huge chocolate bar. This is 3.5 ounces of chocolate. Amazing. It's called Noir, which means black. So I'm guessing it's like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with violet nougats. Nuggets. Nuggets? I don't know. Let's try it. I don't really like flowers in my food, to be honest. I've had some things with lavender in it before, and it just tastes like somebody defiled my food with plants. Some people like that kind of thing. I don't. I don't want flowers in my food, but um, we'll try it. Maybe the French do it better than we do. They will probably say that they do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love the French. It's okay. Um, I don't know. It smells like really delicious chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so it is dark chocolate. I'm gonna say it's not super dark. I'm gonna say it's like, it tastes like semi-sweet chocolate. So maybe 70% dark chocolate, maybe a little more, maybe 75, but it still has a significant sweetness to it. Um, I like it. I don't taste any flowers. I, I taste a sweetness that's not lavender. It tastes more like cherry to me. Um, I'm not sure, but it tastes good. It's a giant chocolate bar. I'm a happy girl. This just makes me want to visit France all the more. I've never been to Europe. I cannot wait to go to Europe. I've been to Asia, love Asia, but it's time for me to get to Europe and hopefully that will happen this year. So stay tuned. I will have another Universal Yums box next month and we will see what we get. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.